Hello everybody, uh, my name is Ryan Cave and welcome back to No Label. As you can see and probably hear, so I apologize for that, we're in a bit of a different location today. That's because, um, you probably guessed by the apron, we're going to be doing some baking. Woo! Basically, I was really into baking, like, I was always really into baking. I took GCC through tech, don't ask about that. I took GCC through tech and I've been working, uh, nice voice break there. <laughs> I've been working shed loads. Oh, but yeah, I've been working shed loads like the past week. And yesterday was my nan's, eight years away doing that. And today I was like, well, it's like my one proper day off. And everything in was busy. So I was like, fine, I'll do some baking. So I already made, uh, well, I made, I made a cake, which didn't go very well. And I made just made some blackjack. But we are going to make. And you can, you can, you can see these like whirly pinwheel cookies, which I, <coughs> I have never made before. I'll be honest, but I saw them. I always make cookies. I saw them. I was like, these are amazing. I'm going to try and make them. I'm sorry, if my head gets cut off a lot, but I'm basically just gonna be baking and then chatting. Hopefully, this video won't be too long. Yeah, got my stuff. So let's get to it. What am I doing first? Placing the butter and sugar in a large bowl. And the bowl. Yeah, like, you can go do this recipe as well if you really want to. Let me know how it goes. Right, I can't remember how the original amount of this. Uh, so the butter soft. That's the thing about it's soft butter. I never <coughs> think about taking it out of the fridge until I'm about to use it. Put my hand in the packaging. Should be about there. I'm gonna just chop this up. Of course, be careful when you're using a knife. Yada yada yada. Yeah, you might, well, I don't know, put my music in the background, but you might be able to hear music in the background. It's sort of like that. I turned it right down because I normally listen to music when I cook it. Okay. Beat together to like. <laughs> Yeah, one thing, I do make a lot of mess when I cook. Ah! That's why I'm always like. Because, yeah, I make these shit tons of mess. But, it's the first time to clean up when they're cooking. Because if you've got. I know, sorry, like creamy everywhere. Well. I know, if you've got time to clean up when you're cooking, you're not cooking right. Unless you actually do have like a break. You have to uh, let some cool down or some heat up or something like that. This take a while. So let's see how this is set. Well all well, the sugar's gone, so I'm guessing less is for light and fluffy meats. Like this But dragging that yeah, that's all. Thanks. That's good. Okay, so next we have to so then the corn flour and the flour. Yeah, perfect. Set so in this. Yeah, I'm a little bit a little bit anxious and stuff at the moment. Because I'm waiting to get my results from college. And my well, my friend Emily got hers last week. Last Friday or something? And I haven't got them yet. And I've been waiting for the post every single day since and it's been stressing me out. <laughs> I was just waiting for them and we didn't get any posts today. So I was just waiting and waiting like where the hell is the post been? Obviously we just didn't get any money. We didn't even see it got packed, so I'm like, okay. I'm, I don't think I've ever separated it again in any joke. I can't see it any as well. So is my camera got worn. I think my battery died. If it is, it could be interesting. But I'm just gonna do this. See if I can fix whatever the hell I've done. And I'll be back to you in a minute. So basically, what I did was 
I added a little bit more milk because I think my egg yolk is really small because they're really small eggs and I added more flour because the milk was a bit mm, I added a bit too much but I think I've got what it is stiff a stiff dough but now I need to split it it's a little bit sticky but So then it's this must look really weird. But split it and then add cocoa powder to one of them. Now this cocoa powder only goes everywhere when I use it. But <coughs> I think we're okay. What I was saying was yes, I'm very anxious about my results. Because I'm not getting them. I mean the results say not to the 18th. But they might come tomorrow, which will be yesterday, uh, it's Friday, but I'm working until 5, so I thought we'd get home to see, so now I have a chocolate dough and a normal dough, whether that be too sticky is no question. See, that's the thing, when you're cooking, you kind of just have to go with it, like, yeah, you can follow the recipe, but recipe kind of, I mean, is like, how you should make it, and then you need to add little bits to make it work. I'm no, I'm really no cooking expert. Yeah, I don't know. I'm like, I, I do baking every now and then, and some of it's alright. <laughs> people say anyway, but yeah, you know, I got a, uh, a D in food, but only because basically my teacher was an absolute twat and mucked up my coursework. <laughs> so that was fun. That we need to do in a sec is basically roll out the two doughs together and I can't really do that if they're really sticky. Okay, we'll see. Next thing, okay, so I like. Uh, the next thing we do is wrap the doughs up in paper, which I could. I can tell me it's a pain because it just kind of wraps up in itself. Sick. I am so bad at wrapping something. Since when was I this bad? That was atrocious. So let's try it. That's a little bit better. But, yes. You need to pop these two in the fridge to chill for 20 minutes. It's just time to. I need to clean up and sort of chill. But it was going to be chill, but now we have to clean up. So he's going to the fridge. And I set a timer for 30 minutes. Which now means we have to clear up. Why don't you know? This is like the third. I'm oh, feeling like the third or fourth bowl of water today. Because obviously you wash up and then it's cold and horrible. So like, well, now you need another one. So we're gonna run the water to the stuff and dry out Look at the lovely cupcake that Emily and cupcake muffin thing is really oh, I'm focused. But yeah, they they made muffins and brought them to me because I was feeling sad. Thanks guys. But I'm afraid it has to be chucked down now because this one didn't get you. I know it was like a week ago. So. Um. And now we wait for like 20 minutes, hour and it's cleaned up by just chilling on what you do. Shush. Shush. 
Okay, so now we have our two doughs. We need to just have to roll them out. So I'm going to roll the normal one over here and then the chocolate one over there because then I have to put them on top of each other. That didn't sound weird at all. Oh. But I need spots because I don't have a lot of that in my kitchen. Oh yeah, always when you roll this out, always put stuff, the flour up on your work surface and on your roll. Then it doesn't stick. So let's get rolling. I think I'm already done. Because it seems pretty darn thin and that doesn't seem very big. Which does concern me. But I'll roll it out and I'll be back in a second. So I now have my dose. I'm trying to split. My camera battery is now flashing at me. So my heart going. But, so I have both my dose and I basically just have to push them together. I don't really, really split this over either. Which I now need to roll up. What length way? So I'm guessing it might be this way. It won't be that way. It's weird. That's the thing. My nails are breaking. So I now have this, and now I need to try to get on the clean film. I put it in the fridge for another 30 minutes. So while that's chilling, and this is really badly wrapped, while that's chilling. Okay, so I have no idea what was missed. Basically, my car got full, so I just took all the stuff off. Uh, but yeah, we are going to put this in the fridge for another 30 minutes and then move on. Okay, so it's now been 30 minutes. And, whoa, something on the map, I don't know. What we basically have to do is cut this into, well, this is about 20. So I'm not quite sure they want to do it. Or they want me to do it. How to do it? Words. First of all, I check the ground to unwrap this. So, do this so you can see. So, I want like one, two, twelve, I get 13 out of it. That's the cut. So then, you can see. Well, no, you can't see very well, because of the light. But, you get the idea. They should come out like that. Maybe. How do they want us to place on a baking tray? I don't see if I'm I'm legit terrified of the amount. I'll leave it down now. What's my bees? <laughs> From the dough, I thought I'd just chuck on it. Yeah, so these need to now cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. So, let's see what happens. Are they done? Do you reckon they're done? That's the worst thing. I can never tell when it's done. I feel like I need to like turn them over or something. I don't know. It's, it's there to see. They're not done yet, so we're giving them a couple more minutes. Uh, I'm doing the split screen. I'm going to see what's happening. So here we have our final product. Uh, I had to do it in for like another 10, 15 minutes because just, I just wanted to have a bit more colour on it. If you look at these ones, they've got colour. Whereas mine were a bit pale. But you know, I'm, I'm pretty darn proud of these. Like, 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 I'm, uh, yeah, I'm proud of these. Okay, the focus, there we go. Look at these, look at these. Like, they've got, definitely got some colour to them. And, yeah, I'm really happy with them. I'm just going to whack them on, wee, that rack over there. And I'm actually about to start cooking enchiladas for tea, but yeah, uh, hang on one sec. I'm probably going to be out of focus by now, but 
yeah, I'm really happy with that. I hope you enjoyed this video, but just like those cookies, I have no idea what this video is going to turn out like, so I'm going to try and edit it tonight. I'm sorry it's really long, but I just, I don't know, it's something different, and I was going to bake all day anyway, I need to film, so I thought, why not? But yeah, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and what me if you want to see more. Uh, my dog's getting antsy because I need to take him out and start cooking. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new and want to see more. Social media links are down below and I shall see you next time. See ya!